All right, let's hear your example. So the vocab on the back of the assignment sheet. Um, let's hear, I mean, did everybody just copy the exact examples on the green flip book? No. All right, Sophia, what'd you get for additive identity? What's your example? Love it, love it. And then um, if we were going to just show, you know, that as subtraction, that would be an example as well. All right, multiplicative um, identity. Patrick, two times one equals two. Thank you. Multiplicative property of zero. Jeez, that's the zero product property. Joseph, what's yours? Three times zero is zero. It's funny because as you learn properties, you kind of feel like these words and these um, properties are like law or something, right? But if you were in a different country learning the zero product property, they might word that any way they want, right? Like this is just the way like we read these properties in mathematics here in the US. Like these properties could have any names in other nations. Just let me think about it. Does anybody? Yeah, right? Thank you, thank you. And so, and I love hearing from students who have learned math in other countries and hear like, they're different they even use different steps sometimes in their math that works out just as well and so that's a that's a really you know great way to broaden our understanding multiplicative inverse somebody else yes love it tony what'd you do <laughs> and you can just go right to one too like if you don't want to show 21 over 21 anymore and you want to just uh, mark that as one you can type that in the spreadsheet okay cumulative property of two somebody else is she in that back group brianna or georgia you guys have one for cumulative Yeah, that's it. Well, let's hear yours. <laughs> All right. And multiplication, cumulative property of addition or cumulative property of multiplication. Okay, associative property. This will be a long example. So we will have two That's it. That's it. Did anybody do one um, for addition? Patrick, you got to put your device away and just sit there bored like the rest of us, okay? Thank you. Okay, Tony. Got it. Oh, oh baby three. How many more? All right, only one more. I, I didn't I didn't mean for you to fill out the whole thing. If you did, that's great. Um, let's just do distributive property and then down in our lives. Um, let's go with over here this group. Libby or Dominic, distributive property. Yeah. All right, let's go freehand. Okay. Um, Improv. Uh, Parentheses six, okay, plus four, okay, okay. equals. Don't listen to him, Libby. Think for yourself. What were you going to say? I was going to say the new thing with the phone. Like everybody did the three times six. Um, okay, three times six equals three. 
She know what she's doing, but she weighed an even 30. Okay. So. Oh, whoa. Ooh. An even 30. Yeah. Where's the other one? Damn. Okay. All right. That's really all I intended for you guys to fill out on this vocab sheet today. Did we talk domain and range? I didn't think we did. Okay. So that's for after the quiz. Um, that's like our next section. So for the rest of the class. What's the plan? What's the plan? Okay. So the rest of the class, you're in your textbooks, your blue, thick textbooks. So before all quizzes and tests, you're in the textbook, not the workbook, because the workbook does not have review assignments. The workbook falls short. I'm emailing the workbook company saying, can you please put a review assignment in this workbook so my students don't have to consult the textbook, I find that students try to skip textbook assignments. They do. All right, so um, you have all class to do this. Anything not done in class is homework. Um, everything in this assignment will be represented in your quiz in some way or another on Monday. Make sure you show work for credit. I'm going to do it as well. I'm going to do it as well. I'm going to do it as well. Yeah. Hey, so I want to, I want to, I want to change the instructions for number one and two a little bit. Um, just so that you're full on prepared for your quiz. It says, write a verbal expression for each algebraic expression. I want you to write two different verbal expressions. Okay, I want to know that you know more than one word for every operation. Okay, so I, I really want to see that, that your vocabulary goes beyond just minus. That, that you can that you can think more than just one way. Yeah, Jacob, do you want to do this one verbally with me right now? Yeah. Okay. No. No one else has a broken writing hand, so. All right. Worth it. Worth it. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, just quietly get to work, Jacob. What would you say for number one? Okay, so I just express it like here. Okay, twenty-one subtracted by x is the number of power. No, 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 we don't need to comment. This isn't joke time. You guys be quiet. All right, let's try one more, Jacob. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Same one. 21 uh, minus x cubed. Come on now. I'm <laughs> kidding. Whoa, whoa, that's too far. Yeah, you only have to do two. I put three up here. I like to crease by, so. Two for everyone. Two for everyone. 
For number one and two. There's just two of them. All right, Jacob, let's do this one verbally. Three uh, multiplied by M to the fifth power added by nine. Try it again. Okay. So we got three. Let's use products. Can you use product? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I put the you product of three and M there you go. to the fifth power. Okay, pause. Mm -hmm. I said to the fifth power. Mm -hmm. I don't, how do I want to say that? Again? With an X part of five Wait, wait, what? Maybe, um... <laughs> You could say with an exponent of five, but like no textbook would ever say that. So I'm just going to continue with fifth power. Three and four, you can only write one correct way. Well, that's not true. You only have to write it once. Okay. All right, any questions on one or two? Thinking of your vocabulary words here. You have to show work. All right, I'm working on number five, XYZ car rental. Um, it says it's $29 per day. And I, maybe, I, I don't think I've said this yet, per means multiply. Um, and then it's 32 um, cents per mile. So we need to write an expression. It tells us X is days. So I'm going to do 29 times the number of days I rent my car. That's a really great price, by the way. Most cars cost more than that. Plus 32 cents for every mile. So if you're taking a rental on a road, you're paying a lot of money. Rentals are best in town. So this is what I'm looking for on number five. Mm 
Sure can. <laughs> I'm jumping way ahead right now um, per request. I'm jumping to number 12. It's a geometry problem. It says that the perimeter of a rectangle. So um, as soon as I read perimeter, I'm going to write the formula, 2L plus 2W. And then I'm going to compare that to what I've been provided. says to write an expression for the perimeter, evaluate when w is 8. So the perimeter would be 2 times 4w minus 3 plus 2 times w. So I put that in for L. And I put that in for W. We good so far? And now it tells us W is 8. So we'll continue to plug in. Are you guys all going to have calculators for the quiz on Monday? <laughs> You have my full permission to take a picture of this problem. You just, just don't put me in it, okay? <laughs>
Big gun chat. I'm going to go to number nine. Sorry if this is annoying for you. I'm skipping around, but that's what we're doing. Um, if you have done nine, go ahead and check your work, check your answer, and let me know if you have a question. If if you got something different, I'd love to come by and check your work and, and find your mistake. I just love doing that. I'm going to do um, 10 and then 14. It just makes more sense. Does anybody need help figuring out how to do 2 to the third power in their calculator? All right. Yeah, for sure. Prepared you well. Show the what? Show the what? It's like it's like you write out a and you have to you have to classify. How'd it go? If, if you did 10, please go back and check your work. Did you get the same answer as me? Well, because exponents go first. That's an exponent first problem. Don't just erase. Find your mistake. I'm not on the level yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
No, we're moving. We're doing a quiz and moving right on. All right, just go ahead, pause where you're at, um, check six, seven, and eight. I haven't shown those answers yet. Check six, seven, and eight. Yeah, write it as a fraction. All right, so second period, I tell you this. If you put a decimal for this, I'm going to mark it wrong. I want you guys seeing this as better as a fraction. So I want you to move forward with this as 1 over 3 times 9 because now we can use a property. So don't reach for your calculator and write decimals down. I'm going to make this 3 um, over 1. And then what property does this show? Multiplicative inverse. These, these ones that say evaluate, name the property. They're designed for you to go to the, the fraction form. Yes? Um, let, me, let me look at that. You are allowed to do distributive property, for sure. No, it would be 3 divided by 9. So that's like... You know, it's a little more complicated. Yeah, but what property? Identity. All right, so check. Go back and check your 14. Did you identify two properties? If you executed the problem correctly, there's two properties to be shown there. So now I'm going to do 15. If you haven't done 15, do it with me now. Try it now. I want you to write it as a fraction. I don't want to see the decimal form of this. Yeah, so I want another fraction. No. D 
Do you have que who's got a question on 14? Shh. Who's got a question on 14? I would really love for you guys not to. Oh, yeah, 17? Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, Sophia, what's our next move? What's five divided by three? Yeah, I hate that. I hate that. Let's not divide. What can we do differently? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you get that to face that. Shot in Colorado. I'm going to do like this because I don't have a back to no, look at it like this. You don't actually need that parenthesis there. You could just have the negative 2. The only reason there's parentheses is just because that negative sign looks better with parentheses. All right, so um, I will be, so I've gone over quite a few of these already. I'll go over the rest with you before your quiz Monday. And then um, you'll take your quiz and we'll move on on Tuesday. Okay? Yes? I can't remember. What? Great job. We'll go over number next. All right. Have a beautiful weekend.